coach Stockstill and the Blue Raiders weathered the storm early as they found themselves down just one touchdown after the first quarter. But the Crimson Tide proved to be too much as second-ranked Alabama defeated Middle Tennessee 37-10. to Our guys fought, you know, and give Alabama credit. Coach Saban, his staff, got an excellent football team, uh, number two team in the nation. You can't come to their place and, and do the things that we did today uh, and have a chance to win. But I'm uh, just talking about my team, our team. I'm really, really proud of our efforts. From the coach's standpoint, I thought we had a hell of a plan. You know, I thought we came out early and we executed. We dropped the ball. Uh, just got down the red zone, kind of stalled out a little bit. But uh, you know, we'll fix that and we'll get back to work tomorrow. They didn't just come out here and, and run it down our throats. You know, so I thought our guys. They had some good runs. They, they you know, they probably ended up over I don't know, 250 yards. Maybe I don't know what they ended up with. But, uh, you know, they, they probably had their yards, but they had, uh, I thought we had some good tackles. I thought, you know, we made them earn what they got. I definitely feel like we definitely played a great first half. You know, we, we stopped and we had a couple three and outs, you know, got a couple turnovers. Uh, I actually seen uh, Jeremy uh, t take the interception towards the end of the game. So I'm just proud of our effort and how we fought. And we, I feel like it's just, just a good stepping stone we're going to take into the next game for our first conference game. I thought they were phenomenal. You know, I think that. Just the way they competed from start to finish, you know, uh, tackling in space, you know, I think they did a great job of doing that for the most part. But, uh, I thought just the way they competed and the, how physical they played versus a caliber team like that is special, and I can't wait to see them, you know, when we start conference play next week. Fans, don't forget to pick up your tickets as the Blue Raiders will look to bounce back in their conference opener on Saturday against Charlotte at 6 p.m. Reporting for GoBlueRaiders.com, I'm Alan Fidelke.